Hello, welcome back to Baldur's Gate the Original Saga. I'm the drummer here. Episode 80. 80. We got a ton of stuff to do here in Baldur's Gate. We've only explored two sections. Pretty much, yeah. So, a lot of work ahead. Check the journal. A thief from my party is to meet Narlin Darkwalk by the Splurging Sturgeon Inn. The rest of the party must wait out of sight. Or Narlin will call the deal off. Let's do this one. This man has no legs. Is he supposed to be sitting at a table or something? Where are your legs, sir? How can you sit there and just drink when you have no legs? Hello there. You're adventurers, aren't you? You must be real brave to have to fight monsters and such. Um, you know, if any of you are wanting to have a good time, I know a place. It's called the Splurge and Sturgeon, and it's located in the northeast of town. Boom! Information. Yes. Through wit and charm, we advance through the ranks of adventuring. What, 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 what? We can't go up? I don't want to start a new area. New! No. Why can't I just go here? Lady Hanna. There ought to be a law to keep lecherous old men like Ragefast off the streets. Oh, calm down. Lecherous? Lecherous what's like who? <laughs> Ragefast. Oh, he makes me seethe. He's a mage on a power trip, and what does he do? He acquires his own personal nymph and enslaves her in his quarters. Men are callous brutes, and personally I wish the world were rid of them. If the world were rid of men, how would we survive as a species? Wow. A question relevant even today. Trust me, we'd make do. Oh, I'm in no mood to talk. We've ran into a raging feminist. Some kind of bathhouse. And the market is south of us. But not seeing the splurge and sturgeon here. What the fuck? What is this? Well, that was trippy. We've always had day and night cycles, but we didn't get a cutscene every time. I cannot find this splurging sturgeon. <sighs> Ramazith. Good eve on you and yours, my friend. Might I have your ear for a moment? I'm in no mood for idle chatter, leave me be. Certainly, good sir, what is your concern? You are a mercenary, no? I can tell because you are battle ugly, with scar, yes? I have need of a stealthy, well-equipped group to perform an act the guard would frown upon. What is it I will be expected to do? My proposition is thus. I would have you enter into the home of a colleague of mine and effect the release of a creature he has imprisoned there. Ragefast be his name. Ah, we heard of Ragefast. And he has in his possession one of the most beautiful and useful creatures in all of Faerun. It's a nymph he captured some time ago. And I know not what laughable plans he has for her, but I am sure she'd be more productive in my care. I not so rich as to be able to offer huge gold, but as competent wizard I do have the odd magical item of worth. Perhaps an enchanted weapon will serve your needs? Why, yes. Your terms are acceptable, I agree. Most agreeable. Already you show intelligence needed to succeed. I give you directions to Ragefist's abode. And you take it from there, yes? You will find Ragefist's home just west of the Hall of Wonders. We meet at my home when you complete your mission. Do not tarry, for I have many plans. Let not the guards see you with the nymph. They will surely question her presence. I will expect you soon. Ramazith. Quests upon quests. Journal is updated. That's good. We have agreed to obtain a nymph currently in the possession of a mage named Ragefist. Northeast of the Hall of Wonders. Why is everything northeast? Blushing Mermaid Service Entrance. Please do not enter. Okay. We shall not. Where is the fucking Splurge and Sturgeon? Tartus just walked up to us. Oh, how I wish this horrid iron crisis would end. I bought a new mirror the other day, and I swear the frame shattered before the glass. Honestly, I don't know how we nobles are supposed to keep ourselves alive in this environment. There's more to this iron crisis than your petty vanity. 
No, there isn't. Now, good day and goodbye. Guess we're in the uppity part of town. Oh, now I can enter it? You son of a bitch. Wow. You can only get there a specific way from uh, this section. Then you can go east. You can't go north from here or northeast from here. Annoying. Blushing Mermaid. We found the Blushing Mermaid back door entrance. That sounds bad. The Blushing Mermaid's back door. Brilbara. Wait, I must speak with thee. Travelers, could you wait for a while so I might talk with you? I am Brilbara, a mage of minor power. I have heard that a group fitting your description were hiring themselves out as mercenaries. Is that true? Sure. We do everything. I wish to hire you then. I'll pay you 200 gold. <laughs> Weak. Not much for heroic adventurers, but it's all I have. An evil mage has laid a curse upon my only child, Namara. She is slowly wasting away, and without help, she'll die. The mage who did this is named Yago, and I'm sure that he possesses the remedy to the curse. Would you track him down for me, please? Of course we will. He's been staying at a place called the Low Lantern. Great, another fucking bar we have to search high and low for. When you're finished, come meet me at the Splurging Sturgeon Inn. I'll be there for the next few days. Any idea where the fuck it's at? Looks like a thief. Is that the guy I'm supposed to meet? Finally, the splurging fucking sturgeon. Okay, we're supposed to leave the whole party somewhere else. But, yeah, that's the guy I'm supposed to meet. Okay, good lord. So, if you're wondering, you can make it to this northeast section, but you have to go the roundabout way. You've got to get here from this section. I make the, uh... This bar, the most difficult bar to locate. Here we go. Narlin Dark Walk. Now we're up to the business. Keep to the shadows and the watch will be blind to our sneak. You will spy the road while Red Edge and I plunder within. Be on your cautions and yell the warning if you see the soldier man. I'd no fight him if I was you. Just call the call and make for the dark. If they give chase, you fade to black and keep quiet. Never known a guard to spot a thief scared to hiding. Stand from here while we two are off and in. We'll be back before the gold knows it's ours. <laughs> cool, man. Huh? Where are we going? What the hell's he doing? Where the hell's he going? Oh, uh, my group's right there, so, uh, hope nobody sees me. Uh, am I in your way? This city is a blight on the landscape. Better to have let the land grow wild. What am I supposed to be doing? Just looking for guards? Do 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 do. Can I go in stealth? Can I stealth? Yeah. What? It's awful late to be out and about, citizen. Why are you not at rest? What the fuck is this? The free country? In the third degree, just standing here? Uh, by the way, I was stealthed at 125%, so no clue how you saw me. <laughs> hey boys, the cheek is up! <laughs> Make for the dark! <laughs> yeah, like, he's not gonna know anything, so... Thievery, sir! <laughs> there are miscreants burgling this very building as we speak. <laughs> oh, no reason at all, sir. I'll just be on my way then. Best that you are. What's this then? The D. Mallon blades be away on business? Odd, they would have left their door undone. I'll just nip inside and make sure all is secure. Shit. Shit. Is he fight? Is he gonna fight my group? Oh my god. Reload. Failed. Guess I can't be standing right in the light. That's good. Run over to a dead end. A brightly lit dead end, by the way. Failed again? Failed! Oh my gosh. Okay, this time I put everybody in the Temple of Ilmater, and I put the stealth boots on. We got a stealth of 150. Should be sufficient. Where's the best place to run? Around this corner, I guess, up here. No reason at all, sir. 
Make for the dark, boys! There we go. Whew. <laughs> you can't see me, but I see you. Hey guys, I was just uh, hanging out with some friends. You guys are, st are still my, my main friends, but just these these other thieves I hang out with. I hope that's cool. By the way, there's a guard looking for all of us. All goes well, we will meet back at the Thieves' Guild and plan another caper. All right, let's do that. Hey there, good fortune you return to us. Quite the scramble down the alleys with no less than ten and four guards in our run and hides. Good call, that alarm of yours. Would have caught us unknowing wise without you. Had enough time to bail the room with gold in pockets, so we've 300 gold to divvy. None too bad a haul, but a mere pittance stacked aside next darks, Targi. Ye in with us again? It was a world of fun and profit, but I've not the time for another night. I met Narlin and Rededge back at the Thieves' Guild after our run from the city guards. We successfully got away with the gold, but I don't wish to risk my neck in such a way again. Not for a hundred dollars every time. A mere pittance. Oh, here's Merrick. Could we have a moment of your time? Sure, what's going on? First, let me introduce the two of us. I'm Merrick, and this is my companion, La Thunder. I thought it would be nice for you to know our names, because if you don't take our advice, you'll be seeing more of us too. I know that you've been taking an active interest in destroying the Iron Throne. Don't try to deny it. My companion and I are in the employ of the aforementioned throne. We thought it would be polite to give you one last warning. Stop interfering with our employer's business. You can decide to disregard this warning, but if you do, it'll be the last decision you ever make. See you later. Make all the threats you want. We aren't the ones with one foot in the grave. It's anybody stupid enough to get in our way who will pay the piper. Gee, thanks for the warning. Let's say this first thing. The journal's been updated. We should kill him right now. Two assassins working for the Iron Throne have threatened us. Their names are Merrick and Lothander, and they have warned us to back away from the Iron Throne. Well, that's not going to happen. Now, is it? Oh, we're on the other side of the... Is this the splurging sturgeon? It is. And we're on the other side of the wall. Very confusing. Okay, well, why we're here, we're just going to go inside the counting house. This is where that uh, Merrick went. Ooh. Ooh, shit. Ulf. Stand and hold, citizen. What business do you have with the Merchant League? I'm seeking passage west aboard one of the League's ships and would like to examine a list of expected ports of call, if there's one available within. I believe we need some maps from here for a prior quest. My business is precisely that, peon. My business. That's probably not going to end well. I'm here to clear my debts with the League. Hmm. How about this? This seems to be the most cunning. Don't waste your time. There are no ports of call when crossing the trackless sea. Save the rugged moon chase. Men, attack these intruders. Oh man, we have to just go through here and murder everyone? Okay, not much on this first floor, including all the crewmates, the dead crewmates. They've just got long swords on them. So, I think we did find one potion and a maybe a gem. I'm gonna just take Bobo upstairs and see if we can find some maps. Okay, they don't see. Trust me, this is oh. Uh, how did you see Captain Taller Kier's? Arr! I'd be almost ready for the salts, and who'll be bothering me now? Hail, Captain. I have been sent to inquire if there is anything else you'll be needing before you set sail. Why the new deckhands you requested, sirrah? And as for myself, I'd be a fine slop cook, too. Excuse me, good sir, but could you direct me to the sea charts that I might examine them a while? <laughs> 
<laughs> that seems a little forward. Uh, I like this first one. I've been set to acquire. Is there anything else you'll be needing before you set sail? Aye, you be with the league then. A jug of this town's hardest liquor would make for a fine departure if you be so kind. Oh, de Tranian brews a vile swill, it'll do the trick. You can find the old coot at the Blushing Mermaid. Shit. Alright, I could have just murdered everyone, but I decided against that. So, I'll go get your damn swill. Hopefully they don't walk downstairs, because that would probably give the secret away. <laughs> Half the crew is gone. Alright, Blushing Mermaid. Looking for a Detranian. Whoa! Is that Detranian? Lars. Hmm, I be Lars. You be Bubba the Thief. Don't try to deny it. You should not have come to Baldur's Gate. You've given many warning before, but you ignore them. Now you must pay. Sorry, but Lars must kill. Wait one moment, you big oaf. Why would you think that I'm Bobo the Thief? Do I look like I could be that kind of hero? Bobo the Thief is a juggernaut of destruction. With flaming eyes and a roaring voice, my companions and I were just normal folk. But you must be Bobo the Thief. Me see picture and it looked like you. It had no fire eyes or big voice. Though pictures don't have voices, mm, I'm confused. That's very good. We'll just be taking our leave of you now. Have a good day, Mr. Lars. Lars, my poor confused ogre, there is only one thing for you to do. You have to go back and take a closer look at the picture. I'm sure once you've had a second look, you'll know what a big mistake you've made. Now run along, we'll be waiting right here. Good idea. Lars will find picture and see for sure. You will wait here until Lars get back. Sure. 900 experience for using our brains. Nice. Okay, we gotta locate Detanian and get the fuck out of here. Detanian. This must be D'Artagnan. Detranian, sorry. So, Captain Kears is soon to sail, I hear. Aye, and good riddance. <laughs> yes, but before he does, he requests a bottle of your phallus swill. My phallus swill, is it? Hmph. He always asks for more, but he'll never thank you for what he's had. His crews drown themselves in a dozen kegs of the phallus swill, and I've seen nary a coin for the brewing of it yet. How much does he owe you? 900 gold on last count. Ouch. If you don't mind the proposal, I'll trade you a jug of my finest if you would be so kind as to relieve me of his debt. You mean pay you 900 gold for one bottle of Screech? That's rather steep, don't you think? <sighs> Fuck. You're right, tis madness to even ask. Perhaps I can still convince the Merchant League to cover it. Uh, you have too much faith in the League, my friend. Here, allow me to pay you the Captain's 900 gold and be done with it. Gold schmold, we're rich. You are a godsend. Allow me to give you a jug of Detranian's Baylor Ale in gratitude. I brew it with pimentos shipped from Kalmshan to give it that little extra kick. Great. Lost an item. Oh, gained an item. 900 bucks. Still got like 34,000 or something. Yeah, 33,000. We're sitting pretty. And this is Detranian's Baylor Ale. Brewed with pimentos for that extra little kick. All right, all right. Where's the captain? Captain Toller Kiers. Ah, there be the good stuff to put a sting in your eyes. The Tranyan's old Balor Ale. Cheers to the Merchant League for all their many kindnesses. Cheers to the Merchant League! The party's lost an item. The party has gained an item. The journal was updated. I outwitted old Captain Toller Kiers. Though I can't say it was all that difficult. Spends a lot more time in a bottle than on the seas, I'll wager. What did I gain? Sea chart. Boom. Mendes. That's the guy's name. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here, huh? Should we push our luck a little more? This is a large place. There could be some awesome stuff in here. Not much up there. Some gold. Uh, very small amounts and some potions. Nothing to get in a fight over. We're going to have to call it an episode there. Next time we'll decide if we want to take the charts back to Mendes right now or continue doing quests in Baldur's Gate. Thanks for watching. You've been hanging out with Underdrummer, the man who has never ever made a Minecraft video. Have a good one.